Hey everyone, I'm Brandy C. Welcome to Design Tip Tuesdays. Today's tip is number 76, limit your typefaces. So this isn't gonna be too technical, but I've been noticing a trend in design and more so in typography and lettering of people using upwards of five, six fonts in their designs. And while it can kind of be a little bit fun to look at, I always find myself wondering why, uh, which is obviously a separate post, always know why, but <laughs> separate from that, um, you should never really use more than three typefaces, and they should always complement each other. Uh, without getting into too much detail on what those typefaces can be, because honestly, I could probably spend an hour talking to you about all the options and not even get close to covering everything. But the idea is that you don't want the type to distract from your message. If everyone's so busy looking at all the fun and interesting typefaces that you chose, they might miss the message. And that's really the point of, of using type using typography is to get a message across, to solve a problem. Um, it's kind of a general rule that between two and three typefaces is really good, and that's for a reason. I think that if you have a primary headline type that's the big one, and you can really use that to focus people in, then you can have some auxiliary typefaces for subheads or for websites and the the underlying information I think that that's something that's really good to do um, if you are looking into hand lettering and you just really want to learn a bunch of fun fun typefaces that's awesome and you can really use those to make really cool designs but don't just do a bunch of stuff just because it looks cool always have a reason and there are going to be times where you can use five typefaces because for some reason it might work for that design but as a rule of thumb, limit your typefaces. Remember that what you're trying to do is solve a problem and send a message and you don't want to confuse people. It's almost like using six languages to say one sentence. So um, I wrote a blog post uh, talking about my top 10 typefaces that I kind of fall back on and I don't always use them, but they're pretty versatile. So it's uh, blog post number 17 um, my top 10 most reliable typefaces and I also encourage you to do the same have some reliable typefaces that you can fall back on when you're kind of at a loss um, so check that blog post out at brandyc.com and if you guys appreciate what we're doing here at design tip Tuesdays please share it with your friends comment uh, subscribe to this channel and ask questions I would love to answer questions from you guys but you don't ask, I can't answer. So I hope to hear from you and I will see you next week.